Hi, my name is Gwen Cooper, author of Homer's Odyssey, A Fearless Feline Tale, or How I Learned About Love and Life with a Blind Wonder Cat. And this is Homer. He was really the cat who I was not going to adopt. I was not going to have a third cat, and I could not have imagined how he would change my life or how much I would love him or how much richer my life would be because of him. My vet had worked with blind cats before, and she felt that he probably would not know the difference, that he would not know he was blind, and he would just sort of adjust to life, you know, play the hand that was dealt him, as it were. So I said I would go down and meet him, which I did, and uh, he was a happy little cat. In spite of everything that had happened, in spite of everything that had been through, he really had no idea that he had been dealt a bad hand or that anything was wrong. He was just really happy to meet me. He was happy to meet everybody, and, and that was, uh, I think, what really won me over. Everybody always asks me whether or not Homer bumps into things, how he gets around, how he's able to find his way from place to place. So he, he's really good about figuring out the layout of a room. He walks around a room once and he knows where things are. He has a very good spatial sense. He uses his whiskers. Homer is a climber. He's an explorer. He wants to know about everything. Uh, cats are known to be curious. He is probably the most curious cat that I've ever seen. If we bring in a new piece of furniture, he climbs up it. When we got a new bookcase, the first thing he did was scale his way to the top. Uh, and he's fearless. It's really astonishing. He, he will just climb as high as he can with, I have to assume, no idea how he's going to get back down. He is, he's the quintessential leap of faith. Because he doesn't have as much information as other cats, he does more. He's more daring. And I think he sort of taught me this sense of, Sometimes not having a plan is the best plan. That sometimes you have to just sort of take a blind leap. Homer doesn't let uncertainty stop him. Look, when I first started writing a book, it was, oh, you, you've never been published as a writer. Not, there's nothing in the world less likely than an unpublished writer getting a book deal. And, um, and I just felt that might be true or it might not, but you take the blind leap and you take the risk and you do it. And, just this idea that nobody can tell you what your potential is, that they can't tell you what you can and can't do. When I decided to move to New York, and I was 30, and I had lived in Miami Beach my whole life, and it was this sort of terrifying prospect. And again, there was this sense of, you know, this cat doesn't let the fear of the unknown trip him up or keep him from doing what he wants to do in life, and I cannot be less brave than the cat. Homer's taught me a lot about relationships. I think the first thing that I learned with Homer um, is that sometimes the relationships that are the most unexpected, that you're sure are the ones you don't want, are the ones that turn out to be the most meaningful and that enrich your life the most. Just like Homer was not supposed to be my cat. Uh, Lawrence was not supposed to be my boyfriend. Uh, Lawrence and I were very good friends for a long time before we started dating. I, I really, um, don't know that I would have had the nerve to do it if, if not for the things that I learned from Homer. It's okay to wake up one day and bring a new relationship into your life, and it's okay that it changes your life. Of course, you don't have to actually adopt a blind cat to bring a blind cat into your home. You can read Homer's Odyssey and enjoy all the antics, fun, and superpowers of my blind cat for yourself.